Arch Linux is suitable for advanced users looking for a challenge to use Linux on their system. However, many Arch-based distributions have made it possible for new users to get into the distribution family by making things easier. Options like Garuda Linux, Manjaro Linux and others make it convenient for new users. And one of the exciting options among them is Cache OS. This is Ankush from its first. Let's talk about Cache OS. Cache OS is tailored for all users, whether you are an expert or just starting out. It is available as a stable release, even though it is fairly new. You can find a link to the project in the video description down below. It aims to provide a blazing fast experience and offer customizability and stability simultaneously. All of this keeping security in mind. Some of the critical highlights of Cache OS include the following. Desktop packages compiled with LTO and x86-64 v3 optimization. Choice of desktop environments with online installation process. That includes i3, BSP, WM and Openbox window managers as well. Offline and online installation options. GUI and CLI based installation options. Optimized Linux kernel with advanced bore scheduler for enhanced performance and reliability. Basically, these are some fancy terms for tech people. That means the software packages have been optimized to work better and the Linux kernel has been tailored to give you a better performance without any hassle. Cache OS looks like a well-polished distribution. When I used the ISO to spin up a virtual machine, I noticed that it does support NVIDIA cards, which is a really nice touch. Because if it didn't, it would have been a nightmare to install on physical machines with NVIDIA cards, which I have. And then the option to use an offline or online installation process was helpful. With the online installation process, you can install desktop environments or window managers as per your preferences. Once done, the welcome screen provides all the essential abilities from the get-go. So good points for that as well. You can install packages, enable system specific settings and tweak application or kernel stuff from the welcome screen. Of course, a newbie should not do anything they do not know, but it is always good to have everything accessible from one place. I tried the KDE edition of Cache OS, which looks pretty good. You can find the KDE and GNOME editions of Cache OS on its official website. An XFCE edition is in the works. For some reason, the theme was KDE's default breeze dark. I expected it to have Cache OS customized theme out of the box, but yeah, that'll do. So I had to head to the theme manager settings and apply the Cache OS theme for it to look unique. It utilizes the fish shell, making the terminal look and feel excellent out of the box. Performance and security enhancements are added score. So if you are unsure about the claims, you'll have to compare things really closely with another distro. However, for a couple of Reddit threads, some users mention a 10 to 20% performance uplift. Of course, you can realize this better when you try it on a real machine. Unlike other distributions, it features its own web browser, a fork of Firefox, with modifications, enhancements for privacy and security. However, it missed out on a default video player, which should be given to cater to new users. Overall, Cache OS feels like a well thought out distribution out of the box. To add Cherry on top, its documentation is on point and incredibly useful for beginners. So what do you think about Cache OS? Do you want something like this that focuses on performance, security and being newbie friendly at the same time? Or do you know something that's better than Cache OS? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.